hear the bridge right here. It's pretty dope. Yeah. You know, our jerseys, the little alternate ones, they got that on the jerseys. I never knew Yeah, that. I know you like this bridge, bro. For sure. Yeah. You think you can swim from here all over there? No. I mean, if I had to. Yeah, you can. If I had to, yeah. I mean, it's far, but you can do it. The NBA has a funny way of bringing players together. Just two seasons ago, Alan Crabb, Shabazz Napier, and Ed Davis all played together in Portland. By way of free agency and trade, the trio find themselves playing together once again. When I first got to Portland, AC was quiet. So it took a while for us to actually get cool. But once we got cool, we was good. Me and Al was going back and forth. <laughs> That's my older brother right there. Uh, Portland, was, it was good times. I mean... Won a lot of games together. Man. Yeah, sure. I mean, you make the playoffs, team is winning, energy's always good, positive. Guys going out to eat on the road, hanging out with each other, stuff like that. So it was cool, man. It's glad for them to be in Brooklyn. I'm originally from Boston. I've been to Brooklyn before. I've been in New York. I've been to Connecticut. I went to school there. So it was definitely cool for that. And, you know, it was kind of the cherry on top of my fellow teammates uh, being here. So. I was excited. I mean, when you go into a new situation, you don't want to feel secluded. So I already knew coming in, I'm going to be with a group of guys that I already became accustomed to. Getting accustomed to a new situation is vital for early success. And in Brooklyn, there's no better way to learn the culture than with practice in the park. The second annual practice in the park allows players and fans to celebrate Nets basketball with a backdrop synonymous with the borough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. We did sir. Let him hear you over there. I can't hear you. Oh, yeah, it was a great event. A lot of fans come out, us to come out and, you know, hang out with the fans and let them know some of the things that we do when we have practice. So it's just good for fans to see what we go through and what we have to do in the dedication. And we appreciate their dedication and they appreciate ours. So it's a great event for us. I would say the turnout was even better than last year. You can tell the crowd got more into it and everybody's happy for the upcoming season. I think the crowd is a big part. If we don't have them enthusiastic, they don't really care. And we're having them. We show that we actually care about them too. So it's a both ways. Brrrr. 